Hi, this is Cindy, and today we're going to talk about tagging. Um, and we're going to talk about a couple of different tags, being able to tag windows, being able to tag doors, and then also being able to tag materials um, and ceilings. So four different types of tags today. Um, a lot of these different types of tags are located within the folder, so you can download um, from the folder a material tag, that you can use. The window tag and door tag that is in the Revit system works really well, so go ahead and use that one as is. The material tag will, you will need to download as well as the ceiling tag um, from the folder. So within the project um, here, in order to tag, there's a couple of different methods to do that. And the first one we're going to do um, is we're going to do tag all, because I want to be able to tag all of my doors and all of my windows, and I don't, you know, I don't really have a, a preference for for them not being able to tag. So I'm going to go to tag all, um, and this is on the annotate tab, and I'm going to select several different ones. So I'm going to se select door tag, and then I'm going to scroll down holding my control key, and I'm going to also select window tag. So you can see I have them both selected there. And I do not have a leader checked. I don't want a leader um, leading to each one of them. I just want them in there, and I'm just going to say OK. Now you can see that I've got um, these tags here appeared for each of my windows and I'm going to want to move this one up just so that you know it's on the outside so I'm consistent with where those are located. Um, you can see that my door tags have landed in my doorways and in some cases you may need to move that tag so that you're able um, to see that door tag in the doorway uh, rather than it being obliterated. Again in any any circumstance you want to be able to see um, the tagging that you are doing or the numbers, um, whatever you have to move needs to get moved so that you can see those elements on your plan. Um, you can see both the doors and the windows got tagged there. So the next thing I want to be able to do is I want to be able to tag my flooring finishes and I'm going to do that on my flooring finish plan. So I'm going to go down here to my flooring finish plan. I'm going to just switch this to headline um, so we can see this a little easier and um, I'm going to hide my um, AutoCAD plan that I have in the background here. And I am also going to shut off the furniture in this view as well. So I'm going to hide the category there. Okay, so on my floor plan I have several different um, materials. I have transitions in materials between these two areas here and I want to be able to show those on my plan. And so in this case I'm going to use a material tag. So we're still on that annotate panel um, and we're over here on the tagging panel and there's a material tag. Um, I've already loaded my material tag in here. Again, if you haven't done that, make sure you save your material tag to your folder and load that into your project. So I'm going to select material tag and I have a couple of different ones. I have the material tag that I've loaded um, and then I also have um, a material tag with an arrow and I also have another one that's with description and you'll see all of those different ones um, in the folder there. The material tag with description is used um, when you're doing elevations and I'll show you that on a, on a separate video. Um, but just the regular material tag we're going to use here and I'm going to on this green bar here I'm going to uncheck leader because I don't want a leader for that. And you can see that I'm just going to, it's just following me around, whatever material I hover over, it's going to place that. So you can see I can put that down there, and it's going to tell me that that's CPT2. Over here I'm going to click again, and you can see that there's um, an air uh, question mark in the center, and that's because my I have not given my material a label, and so that's why it has not indicated what that material is. So in order to make that change, um, I'm just going to go up here to Manage Materials, and I'm going to find my tile that I have here on the floor. And we're thinking. Okay, so I'm just going to search for my tile, which I know is called circle tile. Um, always a good idea to make sure you know what all of your materials are called. And so I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to open up the material editor by double clicking if it's not already open. And right up on the top here, right next to where it says circle tile, I'm going to click on that little arrow to bring up all the description information about my tile. Under the mark here on the very bottom, I'm going to give it a mark. So um, we're going to give this ceramic tile four. 
Um, I have other ceramic tiles that are in the project that already have a mark, and so I want to be able to um, indicate that. And even though I've called my tile circle tile, it's not actually circles, um, it is um, hexagon. And so under the description, because I might want to use the description later for something else, I'm going to indicate that this is 3 quarter inch um, hexagon tile. And I'm just going to say done there, and apply, and OK. And you can see that that... Um, that my computer is crashing, um, but you can see there where I changed that to um, ceramic tile four, that that has updated um, on the plan. Hi, we're back. Okay, so I forgot the part about how whenever I open the material editor and save anything, my Captivate software crashes. Um, I should really send them an indicator of um, why that's happening so that they could um, send me back some kind of information about why that happened. So on my floor finish plan here, um, before my computer crashed, we were placing um, different types of material tags on here. So then we just want to go over ceiling tags. So on your ceiling view, um, looking at your reflected ceiling plan and being able to place some of those tags. Again, there's a ceiling tag that has been um, placed in the folder for you to use. The only difference between the one that's in the, that automatically comes with Revit and the one that is placed there is that it's got the circle indicator over here on the side. Um, so again, this tagging is under annotate um, and then we have tag by category. So rather than tagging all, um, I'm going to say tag by category. And that's just going to allow me to click on whatever the thing is. If I click on a wall, um, I'm going to get a, a, a wall tag. If I click on a ceiling, I'm going to get a ceiling tag. And so you can see here, um, it's, I get a blue box that kind of appears and hovers around that. And I'm able to click um, on that element and tag that element, um, which already has a tag here with ceiling tag. The ceiling tag also includes uh, ceiling height there for me as well. So the last thing that we want to tag um, is the walls. And so again, on my construction plan, I'm going to select that. And I'm going to go to tag all. And I'm going to go down to wall tags. And I'm going to select quarter inch. I'm going to say apply and OK. And it's going to go through and tag some of those different walls um, for me with that wall tag. And so we can see some of those there. Um, if I hover over this um, concrete wall here or this wall here, it indicates to me what different type of wall that is. And so we have that wall tag that's there. And again, you can do this with or without a leader, depending on how it would read best. And that is tagging. Thanks.